Denzel Bentley, huge knockout win over Danny Diggum. Talk to the people. How are you feeling after that huge win, man? I feel good, man. I feel good, man. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Um, yeah, man, had a tough year, man, but it's all good now, man. It's, you know, it's, it's all starting to unfold. All, all, the, all the good things are happening. Danny Diggum's a good opponent, and I needed to do that to someone like him in order for me to get back to where I was before, you know, my last fight. Um, and I couldn't do that, just trying to pick someone off the side of the road and fight them and call it a confidence boost. I needed to do it against, you know, a, an established, experienced pro like Danny Diggum, that's a world title challenger, ABA champion as, a, as an amateur, like, so, yeah. It was a devastating performance, dropping Danny three times. The third one was fatal. How did you feel when, um, when you dropped him the first time? I knew I had him, I knew I had him. I looked over to the corner and Martin said, straight on him. I tried to go straight on him, but he was covering that body tap. So I went upstairs and then I found the body again later. And then when I dropped him the third time, I looked up at the clock. I saw I had about just over 30 seconds left. And I thought, if I let this guy get back to the corner, he might recover. So I was kind of on him, but he tucked that body tie and then the last shot to the head. I mean, I didn't really want to like celebrate and go wild because I'm quite cool with Danny. We've done loads of rounds together. He's helped me out in the gym loads of times. I've helped him out. But just that feeling of excitement, like, you sometimes just can't hold it back in it. But like, he's a quality fighter, man. Isaac in the back there. Isaac Chamberlain said, don't hold it back. You how important was it to have all your friends, your family, obviously Isaac here? How important was it to have that support, man? Listen, it's always, it's always, it's always, listen, it's, 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 it's always important. It's always important to have, to have, you know, my people there, parents, you know, siblings, friends, family, cousins, whatever. Like, it's always important. I, I, I hear them. I'm saying so. I, I could hear them saying stuff. Certain voices I could hear out. And if, if they weren't there, it would just be all be a blur. Sometimes, there's, you know, there's certain distinctive voices you can hear. It's your corner and the people's closest to you. So I could, I could hear them all screaming uh, instructions that I weren't following in my last four weeks, but. You mentioned the last performance. You said it's been a bit of a disappointing time. Surely you got Nathan Heaney in your sights now. I mean, look, if the rematch is there, it's there, but look, I've got, this is gonna boost my world ranking. I want, I, 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 I want a world title shot, but that, that, if that Heaney rematch is there, I'll definitely take it. That's the loss I need to rectify as long as the other two apart from him. <laughs> And if he don't want the rematch, is there anyone else you got your, your eyes set on? Listen, fair play to him, man. If you don't want it, he, listen, he's done, he's done wonders in his career and I can only respect it. But next, you know, I don't really look for people, but I want a world title shot. If not, listen, like I said, all the best to um, Hamza his next fight with Amo. Win or lose, I'll take that next. Um, I fight Amo as well, but win or lose, I'll take Hamza next. I think, I think, I think it's about time we get that fight going because every, everyone just keeps asking about it and swerving it I, I, that's the fight I'd want next win or lose and obviously you and Hamza are part of the same stable if Hamza comes through that is that something you can see realistically happen this year even if he doesn't even if he doesn't come through it it's a fight I've got losses on my record who am I to say he lost I don't want to fight him that's the fight that you guys want the fans keep asking and like I said I'm annoyed of being asked that question so I know you guys want it let's do it next win or lose and lastly, next week, obviously, Fury Usyk, undisputed heavyweight title, just to end, who are you backing, Fury or Usyk? Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, Fury's a Queensbury fighter, he's a Brit, so I got to back um, Fury in this one, but Usyk's an amazing fighter and I won't be surprised, you know, if he won. I think he has the skill set and the ability to win, but like I said, Fury is a Queensbury fighter and he's a Brit, so uh, boxing will be better on this side if Fury won and probably help all our persons go up on his undercards. <laughs> Congratulations, Dez, big Woo! win. Awesome, thank you, appreciate it.